What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be covering for you all 50 states and what stimulus checks are available on a state level. Now also, if you are located in Arizona, California, Florida, Indiana, New Mexico, New York, Tennessee, or Texas, I have additional updates for you, bonus updates, for city cat checks, county checks, and also UBI programs that you might be eligible for as well. Now, I'm gonna be covering all the states. This is by no means a comprehensive list as there are city, county checks, UBI programs, all over the nation popping up all the time. I'll do my best to keep you up to date on them, just covering some of them. If I don't name it on your state, uh, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Just do a Google search, because these are popping up all the time. And also, uh, just to let you know on state levels, there aren't state checks for every single one. I'm gonna go through every single state, and I wanna make sure everyone's covered, so if there's not one available in your state, I'll name your state and just let you know there's not one at this time. However, doesn't necessarily mean there's not one on a city or county level. So be sure to do your own research to make sure you can find out what's available because a lot of these are for, for just a limited time as well. But you guys, let's dive right in. I've got a lot to cover and also, Keep an eye out on the second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn more about growing wealth and personal finance. I'll pin a comment down below if you're interested. You can click the link and go subscribe. I hope that's gonna be helping out a lot of people at this time. But let's dive right in. And if you appreciate these updates and content like this, take a quick second to smash that like button. Helps out my channel a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments. Share this out if you think it's gonna help out other people. If you wanna stay up to date on content like this, totally free to do so. All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you can be notified right away because some of these programs are time sensitive. And if you got any specific questions for me, just shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. Best way by far to get a hold of me directly. But we've got a lot to cover, so let's go ahead and dive right in and cover all 50 states and what stimulus checks are available. All right, so first up we have the state of Alabama. And now there currently are no state stimulus checks in Alabama and the Governor Ivey, he actually has taken the federal aid and he's gonna be using it to construct new prisons. So that is where things stand with Alabama. I know a lot of people messaged me from Alabama said they weren't happy about that, but if anything changes, I'll let you know, but that's currently what they're doing with the federal assistance. Next up is Alaska. Now in Alaska, they've got the permanent fund dividend where every year, if you're an Alaskan resident, you can get up to $1,200 we're hearing. So that's what's taking place in Alaska. Now next up is Arizona and Arizona has a back to work program where they're giving out checks to those that are returning to the workforce. But also I've got a special update for you as take a look at this helping hand 1000 families are going to start getting $2,000 payments this week. Are you eligible? And it says 1,000 families, they're gonna get $2,000. If you're in Phoenix, Arizona, you could be eligible to get $12,000 via a debit card over the course of the next 12 months. Now, if you're interested, if you're in Phoenix and you think you might wanna be a part of this assistance program, I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you can access this. It'll give you all of the details of eligibility and see if you can get this benefit in the city of Phoenix, Arizona. And our next step, we have Arkansas. Now, Arkansas right now, they have new SNAP benefits, uh, but we don't have any updates on any stimulus checks for the state. California, now California has given out the Golden State stimulus checks where they gave out $600 and $1,100 to families uh, that made $35,000 or under for the first phase. The second phase was for those that made 70,000 to 35,000. And we're hearing there's so much surplus left over for the state that it's very likely that there's gonna be more going out in Golden State stimulus checks here very soon. So if you're in California, new update for you, keep an eye out for another Golden State stimulus check. Now, next up we have Colorado and Colorado has a variety of different programs. You can see they've got TAMF, LEAP, SNAP, but in the form of stimulus checks, we currently don't have anything in Colorado. Now, if that changes, I'll be sure to let you know right away. We also have Connecticut, and they have a back-to-work program as well, but other than that, haven't heard any updates on the state of Connecticut. We also have Delaware and Delaware. Uh, they haven't had any stimulus checks that I've heard of either. If you get word of any, let me know. And Florida, now Florida does have that $1,000 payment that's gonna be going out to uh, educators, teachers, and also we've got an update for you on Florida that they're gonna do that again this year. Take a look, you guys. Florida's budget for 2022 is set to contain a new incentive for teachers who got $1,000 checks as a thank you for their efforts during the pandemic. Now, also, 
We're expecting that teachers, educators in Florida are gonna get a bump up in salary as well, as the average is about 40,000 per year. They're trying to take that up to over 47,000 uh, in 2022. Now, next up is Georgia, and Georgia, they've had the same thing. Educators have been getting bonus checks uh, for working throughout the course of the pandemic. Also, Hawaii. Now, Hawaii currently doesn't have any stimulus check programs. They had some proposed, but uh, nothing went through. Same thing goes for Idaho. They had one-time tax refunds of $50, but other than that, haven't heard of anything new in Idaho. Uh, next up is Illinois. Now, in Illinois, uh, there never were any plans for state-level checks, and unfortunately, we haven't gotten word of any others. And they say that if you're in Illinois, just keep an eye out for unemployment benefits, child tax credits, or EITCs, the adult tax credits. You can get those as well on federal levels. Uh, Indiana. Now, Indiana, haven't heard of any new ones, but I do have this one for you. Take a look at this, you guys. Uh, in the state of Indiana, residents are going to be receiving a $125 stimulus refund, but only after you file your taxes in 2022. But you can expect an additional $125 due to the surplus that has taken place in Indiana. Next up is Iowa, and we haven't gotten any checks on a state level in Iowa. Now, Kansas, we don't have anything for you in the state of Kansas. And Kentucky, right now it says a rise in unemployment has led Kentucky to non-concrete talks about new rounds of stimulus. Uh, so right now, nothing in Kentucky either. Now, Louisiana, they have suffered a lot with everything going on. They're giving out one-time payments to households for $500 from the government for those that suffered from Hurricane Ida. But other than that, in Louisiana, haven't gotten any updates. Uh, Maine, haven't heard of anything. Now, Maryland, the state had offered stimulus checks between $300 and $500 for those who filed for the EITC. So you got that not only on a federal level, but also on state. Now, Massachusetts, it seems that Massachusetts doesn't have any stimulus payments coming out at this time either. Now we have Michigan. Now, Michigan, I haven't heard of any state checks. However, we have heard of that auto refund where if you own a car and you have um, insurance on it, they're giving you back money for your vehicles in Michigan. Now, Minnesota, haven't heard of any stimulus checks in the state of Minnesota on a state level. Uh, if I hear of any, I'll be sure to let you know. Mississippi was one of the first states with unemployment benefits stimulus payments, which ended early. But other than that, Mississippi has not provided any stimulus checks either. Missouri. Uh, residents haven't gotten much in the form of stimulus check payments in Missouri. Montana. Montana has not provided additional stimulus checks. Nebraska. We don't have anything for Nebraska either, unfortunately. Now, next up is Nevada. Now, Nevada received a lot of federal funds, but isn't going forward with another check. Uh, and they give you a bunch of different uh, provisions and programs that they have. But right now in Nevada, nothing on a state level either. Now, in New Hampshire, an American family of three with no income in New Hampshire receives a grant worth $1,086 per month. That is the main financial aid that is currently available in the state at this time. Now, next up we have New Jersey, and a forced stimulus check is not expected in New Jersey, but residents are entitled to $500 tax rebates. And also, I've covered for you several different uh, UBI programs in New Jersey, like Atlantic City, where they're giving out monthly checks to eligible low-income households uh, and families. Now, next up is New Mexico. Stimulus check payments were due by the end of the month in November in New Mexico, uh, where they could get $750 of additional financial support. Also, I've got another update for you on a new pilot program. Take a look at this, you guys. Link in the description below. New Mexico Pilot Program offers payments to immigrant families. A coalition of community-based organizations will select 330 families to receive a guaranteed basic income of $500 a month over the course of a year. Applicants must be a member of an undocumented or mixed immigration status family. And that is taking place right now for New Mexico. Now, next up, we have New York. And now New York has an assortment of different programs. And I've got a special update for you on New York as well. Now, in New York, in 2021, employees in New York who lost their employment due to the pandemic but were unable to collect stimulus payments owing to immigrant status might be able to apply for the Excluded Workers Fund. And I've covered that in more detail for you in previous videos. If that might be applicable to you, be sure to look up the Excluded Workers Fund in New York. Now, next up, we have North Carolina. Currently, no payments available there. Same thing goes for North Dakota. Ohio, the same thing, unfortunately. Oklahoma. 
Oklahoma's approach was to try to ease unemployment numbers, so they offered a one-time payment of $1,200 for those that went back to work. Oregon, there has been no additional assistance. Uh, Pennsylvania hasn't offered uh, residents new stimulus payments. However, we do have in Philadelphia several new programs that I've covered in detail for you as well that are available in Philadelphia. Now, Rhode Island. Workers in Rhode Island were hoping for a forced stimulus check of $1,400 for Social Security recipients, but nothing has come through on that yet either. South Carolina, no stimulus checks in this state right now. Next up is South Dakota, and we currently don't have any benefits on a state level for South Dakota. Tennessee, if you are an educator or a teacher, you can get $1,000 and an update on that as well. In Tennessee, you can get the hazard pay if you're an educator. Uh, it is being paid out to government employees as well. $1,000 incentive for full-time instructors and teachers who work part-time. They could get $400 as well. So an update for you in Tennessee. Next up, we have Texas. Nothing statewide has been confirmed, but some school districts are increasing their teacher pay. Now also, we're hearing that um, in Denton, employees will also get a $500 bonus. And also a special update for you in Texas, some school districts are increasing teacher salaries. Some are being promised $2,000 stimulus payouts, while others have offered $500 stimulus checks as well. So teachers in Texas, you could be getting stimulus checks. Now next up, Utah. Now it says, in July, it was announced that Utah households received the most value of stimulus checks in the third round of payments with an average of $2,700. However, nothing new for Utah state stimulus checks either. And again, I apologize for the background noise, uh, getting the bathrooms remodeled. Hopefully we'll be done uh, with that this week. Next up, Vermont. Now currently, there is no new uh, stimulus checks in the state. However, if you are somebody that's relocating to the state, you can get up to $7,500 uh, if you work in particular sectors. And they're asking people to move there to help them out with the state. Next up is Virginia. Now there are no statewide stimulus checks for the state of Virginia either. However, we're hearing that there are various different programs like UBI that could be available. So be sure to check that out to see if you might be eligible for other forms of stimulus checks in Virginia. Washington, currently don't have anything for the state. I know a lot of people have been messaging me, asking me about Seattle and what's going on in Washington. Haven't heard of anything, but if I do, I'll let you know right away. Next up is West Virginia. And West Virginia, uh, we don't have any checks for the state either. Wisconsin, Wisconsin brought in the Wisconsin Emergency Rental Assistance Program to help out with rental aid uh, for Wisconsin. There's a link right here to it. And Wyoming, looks like there are no stimulus checks for the state of Wyoming at this time either. So you guys, that is the comprehensive list of all 50 states and what's available in the form of stimulus checks on state levels and also some additional city, county uh, stimulus checks for you and UBI programs as well. And again, this doesn't cover all of them. I know there are a lot of them out there. Uh, so be sure to Google search to see what's available to you. And also be sure to be on top of it because they change all the time as new programs come in, other programs end, and as they pop up, I'll do my best to keep you up to date here on the channel so you know what's available to you. But you guys, thank you so much for joining me. And if you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, smash the like button. Helps out my channel a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, share this out if you think it could help out other people. And if you want to stay up to date, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Consider joining the second channel, Steve Ram Finance. And if you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. But with that being said, you guys, hope this reaches you well. As more stimulus check information pops up, I'll keep you up to date. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.